We are actually named after a dog, a really wonderful, slobbery, huge black lab um, who lived in Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, He was owned by the Jackson family, and his name was Bumper. And Bumper, his, like, chorus response or that calling, howling together response was ignited by my clarinet playing real hard. He would just howl along with my clarinet playing. He loved it. As soon as he heard me playing clarinet, he would run up right next to me and get his little haunches like right next to mine, and just how just sing right along with me. <laughs> well, I know everyone always tries to pigeonhole anyone that's in any type of music. It it would be hard to to pigeonhole uh, Bumper Jackson. You guys play a little of everything. One of the main common threads about all of our music is that it's American roots music. It's from the traditions of like the American sound and their earlier sounds. A lot of the musical choices that we're making, a lot of the structures sound like they could have come out of the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s. You know, like we draw in the country realm, we draw a lot of influences from classic country. You know, Patsy Cline, George Jones, Ray Price. We cover a Ray Price song. Um, and, like, I, I love, Patsy Klein is one of my vocal idols. I love the way she sings and uses her cry break. We take a lot of influences from that realm, but we also take influences from swing and blues, even a little bit of Cajun music, old-time Appalachian music, bluegrass. But the common thread of all of those things is that they are American traditional music forms. But, um, I learned to play clarinet, and I, I really learned to get control of my voice and sing um, when I was living in New Orleans and sort of sitting in with um, bands and little clubs down there on, on Royal Street in um, the French Quarter. And so I, I draw a huge amount of influence from that traditional jazz sound from New Orleans. So we usually travel as a six-piece band, and we've been playing together as this ensemble for about three years We've got Alex Lacavant on bass and uh, Dan Samuels on the drums, Dave Hadley on the pedal steel, um, and Joe Brotherton on the trumpet. Um, and then there's me. My name is Jess Elliott Meyer, and my partner in crime, um, Chris Osley, on the guitar and songwriting. Well, I've got to ask now that you've brought up Chris in in the uh, the uh, video for Never Met a Stranger when he's riding the bicycle and playing the banjo with both hands. Chris is really, really good at getting very good at things like that. <laughs> like, who who do you have to be to be like, you know what I would like to learn to do today? I want to ride a bicycle and play the banjo at the same time. Uh. Let me just practice that for hours. <laughs> but especially before we had our son, Monk, he would just do stuff like that, you know? Just when, you know, he'd be like, man, that would be such a cool stunt to be able to do. And then instead of just letting that thought pass, and thinking it was funny, he will actually learn how to do it. And he's really good at it. He can bike, you know, if you give him a straightaway where he doesn't have to stop, he can bike for, like, more than a mile just playing banjo tunes. (laughs) So, and speaking of your son, I guess uh, your new song, White Horse, kind of came about. The Me Too movement was going on, and you were in the midst of a really long labor. That's, That's part of where that song... Came from. I mean, sometimes it's hard to um, tease apart exactly where all of your influences come from, or why why a certain message really pops up in your heart that you want to share with the world. But part of it was the 2016 election, which I think for a lot of women was very difficult. Um, and I knew I was going to be bringing a little boy into this world, and I just I I I have a lot of faith in the next generation coming up, and. Um, Want, really wanting both myself and others around me to to really trust in and harness like our own power together to sort of really just bring good into the world, bring beauty and truth into the world, um, even if things aren't going the way that we really want them to go. You know, and so it was it was that it was knowing that I was going to become a mom and that I all I was going to need to harness a lot of power to do that well, you know? And, and I guess this will be the, the standard uh, radio cliche question when you're doing interviews. And uh, people coming out to Munson Williams on Saturday night uh, can expect what? I think they can expect a really fun, upbeat, kind of dancey vibe. We will be hoping to get people like really excited and up out of their seats wanting to dance. Um, But we also like to get really quiet and bring it down. So we hope that we can fill up people's hearts and 
provide like a meaningful emotional and spiritual and musical experience for people, but also let people just have a ton of fun at our show. Our trumpet player, Joe, always says, you know, if I'm not having fun, then I'm not having fun. And I have a problem with that. (laughs) 